Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we wanted to share with you 12 Aussie or Australian slang words and phrases that we both learned since migrating here in Australia. So the first one on our list is Arvo. Arvo means afternoon in common English. So how do you use it in a sentence? Well, in the workplace they would usually say I'm too busy in the morning to meet with you but I can try to meet you in the Arvo. Number two, Barbie. So Barbie is barbecue in common English. For example, hey, what are you having for Australia Day? We might just chuck some meat on the Barbie, which means they might just cook some meat on the barbecue grill. Yeah, or sometimes they love inviting friends to their home. So they say, let's have a Barbie this weekend. Number three, Brekkie. Brekkie means breakfast. In one of our previous videos, we have shown you three brekkie places here in Sydney. So, can you use it in a sentence? Sure. So normally you would say, hey, what did you have for brekkie? Or, I had oatmeal for brekkie. Number four, brawly. Brawly means umbrella. Very easy, you just say, oh, it suddenly rained. Thank God I brought my brawly with me. There was a time that, that it's raining. I don't have my umbrella with me. And then my colleague told me, Hey, I have, I've got a brolly here. And then I thought, what does brolly mean? <laughs> and she brought the umbrella. Oh, brolly means umbrella. Mm, I even thought it was broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, chocolate block. So what does that mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate block means full of people or things. As an example, one might say, in Boxing Day, I tried to go to the shopping center to see what's on sale, but it was chock-a-block. So I returned home immediately. It's really when a place is congested, it's really full, or maybe you say, on my way to work, the highway, the roads were chock-a-block with cars because there was an accident um, on the Harbor Bridge. Chock-a-block in that instance means it's congested, it's really full, uh, it could be either with people or with things or with anything. Number six, Chucky Bicky. Chucky Bicky means chocolate biscuit. Um, hey, do you want to have Chucky Bicky for snack, for afternoon tea? Um, or hey, do you want to grab some Chucky Bicky from the grocery? So you say Chucky Bicky. Chucky meaning chocolate and Bicky meaning biscuit. biscuit. So it's chocolate biscuit. Number seven, Crazy Prezi. What does it mean? <laughs> yeah, crazy prezi means Christmas present. <laughs> so one might one might ask you, hey, what did you get as a crazy prezi from from your partner? Um, or hey, I've given my friend exactly this book as a crazy prezi. So crazy short meaning crazy being short for Christmas and prezi me being short for present. Number eight. This is a common phrase or common sentence. Good day, mate. How are ya? So it means good day or good morning, good afternoon, friend. How are you? How are you doing? I don't even need to use this in a sentence because <laughs> that, that isn't an entire, an entire sentence, sentence, sentence already. But you would commonly hear this in the office when, um, when you bump into someone either in the lift or along the corridors. They would usually ask you, hey, how are you doing, mate? Um, and then you normally you'd say, I good, good thanks, good I thank you. I think the sentence is good day, mate. Good day? Oh yeah, good day, mate. How are you going? And then how, are ya? how are ya? Or, how are ya? Good day, <laughs> mate. How are ya? And then normally you would say, hey, yeah, I'm good, thank you. Or And then normally they would thanks. follow up with, how was your weekend? Or, and how are you going? Or, or how, was, how was your morning so far? Number nine. Good on ya. Good on ya means well done or a good job. For example, you would say, Hey, I saw the presentation. I, I've, I've heard that your presentation went really well. Good on ya. So it's a really nice compliment given after you do a really good job, either at work or in school or just anywhere. That's one of the things that we appreciate in Australian culture. They are very um, appreciative. appreciative. They like giving compliments. Yeah. They are very generous at yes. that. Number 10, Macas. Macca's is Macca's. <laughs> McDonald's! <laughs> Macca's is McDonald's. Yes. So the way they'd use this is, 
Hey, do you want to grab some Maccas for lunch? Or, hey, I just had Maccas. I had a really big Maccas brekkie, so I can't really eat lunch yet. Number 11, no dramas or no worries, which means um, no problem. No problem. So you could, they usually use this either when, um, when you are thanking them for something. For example, you say, hey, thank you so much for doing that work for me. And they're gonna say, oh, no worries or no dramas. And you usually follow that up with mate. No worries, mate, or no dramas, mate. Or number two is they could also say this if you, when you apologize and so you sort of take your apology or, or accept your apology and you say, hey, I really, I'm really sorry for being late. I'm really sorry for not sending this to you earlier. You should say, oh, no dramas, no dramas, that's perfectly fine. I think that's that's really good because it really reflects of, of Australians um, really Attitude. laid back, yeah. not laid back, but really the preference for um, no dramas. Like they, they just don't like dramas in the workplace. They prefer that everyone's just really diplomatic, Light. they're polite, they're very courteous. And I think that's a wonderful thing about the Australian culture. So, and the last one, number 12, thongs. Thongs is slippers in common English. Or flip flops. Or fit flops. Actually, I had an experience maybe during my first year in, here in Australia. So I went to a, to a Havianas um, and then I was looking for slippers. Then I told the lady in the store, I said, Hey, do you have black slippers here? And then and then she asked me, um, slippers? Um, what do you mean slippers? Because I think here in Australia they use slippers for bedroom the floppy, floppy slippers. Uh fluffy, I mean. Fluffy slippers. <laughs> fluffy. The, fur. yeah. the furry fluffy yeah. slippers that you use for like in, in, in the, the hotel, bedroom, in the hotel, the hotel or the, bedroom. the one that you use in your bedroom. Yeah, That's right. what slippers is for them. So there you have it. 12 Aussie slang words and phrases that we hope you will find helpful when you do come and visit the country, when you talk to Australians, or when you're planning to migrate here. And thanks everyone for watching this video. Um, if you like it, or if this video has helped you, please don't forget to click like and subscribe to our channel and see you in our next video. Bye! Or Oh no, it drained. <laughs> <laughs> so you can also use just Krizzy, obviously. So what are you doing for Krizzy? Meaning, what are you doing for Christmas? Or you can just say, hey, did you have some Biki uh, that was on the table? So meaning, did you have some biscuits? Oh, that's Biki, not Brizzy. Biki, oh. <laughs> <laughs>